Do you know, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done because we were in the middle of filming and I've never ever had anybody just walk off set. Mm -hmm. He just, and he was sat there and he was saying to his wife, you know, I'm really doing this for Sue. I mean, obviously we had this child out of wedlock. We were very, very young. We both want to find him, but really I'm doing this for my wife because she's struggled with it all these, these years. These are both the natural the parents. The natural parents. We've never had parents looking for, looking for uh, their child right. together. So they'd given them up and because so they were too young? They were they... much too young. They, right. it, they were 15 and 16 or something. And right. then they went on to get married and they had more children. Oh. But they'd given this son up for adoption and they never really spoke about it, but she, it broke her heart. But she ended up, when I did the reveal, being just really excited. And he had a complete meltdown. He had to walk off, went into his bedroom, and we could just hear him sobbing. Oh. And, and I, was, I was, you know, what do you do? I was sort of thinking, Mm. I don't want to be a sort of shallow TV person and go, could you please come and cry on TV? <laughs> I, you know, I don't want to make him come and do anything he doesn't want to do. It was very difficult. But in the end, I said, look, I totally respect if you, if you need mm. uh, an hour or two or whatever, but we'd love to know how you're feeling. Mm. And I'd love it if you could share it with us. And he was really brave and he, mm. came, he came back and... Yeah. So and he let held us. all that in, that oh, emotion. It's all that time. And his wife said, I've never seen him cry, oh. ever. Davina, I, have you ever found uh, children who do not want to be reunited yes. with their parents? Yes. Because I think people forget. And a lot of parents that don't yeah. want to be reunited yeah, with their children. Yeah, because children. you might find them, but they've left and they just couldn't cope with going back. I mean, um, I would say maybe five or six out of seven stories aren't successful. And that can really? be for any number of reasons. That can be either they are impossible to find um, or they don't want to be found, which is often what happens, or they want to be found but not on telly, which is mm. yeah. totally yeah. understandable, yeah. in which case we reunite them <laughs> off mm. camera. Yeah. Um, and but I suppose, obviously, you don't broadcast these stories because you won't have permission. Um, so I guess it is important to talk about it a little bit because you wouldn't want people watching to think there's always a fairy tale ending. Mm. It always works out because well, of in this, it doesn't. In this yeah. series, there's a bit we show a little bit more the tougher side of these stories, and sometimes you can tell somebody that we found someone, but maybe they've not had the life that they'd always mm. hoped for, or maybe they've been on a very painful journey, and so it's been navigating all of those um, areas as well in this series. But it's. It's refreshing to do it. And, you know, the more series that we do, um, it's been really nice covering just not all adoption stories. There are lots yeah. of dads looking for kids, you know, that have become estranged, and that's so mm. common nowadays, mm. isn't it? I mean, often dads say to us, oh, I just thought it would be easier for them if I just walked away. Yeah. Mm. And actually, you're thinking, actually, that's sad, yeah. you know, to film every, like that. Every single episode I've watched, I end up in tears. How do you keep it together? Well, I... I, I wonder that every time I watch I, it. When I'm watching it at home, it's my appointment <laughs> to cry. I yeah. get the Kleenex, I get the tea, <laughs> I'm there, I'm like, bring it on. Um, but actually, when you're there, I don't think you mm. would. I think, you, I think you'd be the same as me, because it's such an important... I mean, I was a bit horrified when Chris got up and walked out because mm. I was like, oh, God, I could see he was about to erupt. Mm. And, I, and I was actually worried for him. But I, that's the major feeling I have. I'm just worried. I, and I'm so busy worrying that yeah. I'm not really not. feeling. I'm just sort of trying to be there for them. <laughs> Sometimes they'll say something and I'll go... Oh. <laughs>